This is the micro-homily for the 22nd of February. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. That Gospel doesn't say, Jesus asked a question and Peter said, no. It says, and it was Peter who spoke up. That suggests there was a silence that Peter broke. Maybe the other apostles had reached the same conclusion, but dare not say it out loud for fear they'd look stupid if they were wrong. It was a big thing to say. So they look at the ground. They hope someone else will answer. And it was Peter who spoke up. You are the Christ. Peter's proclamation of faith becomes the occasion when Jesus chooses Peter as the rock on which the church will be built to perform for the apostles in his day the task that the popes through the centuries each have performed for the bishops in their own day. When a pope writes to bishops it's called an encyclical letter. They're, they're published, you can read them. And perhaps that first reading, that extract, we can think of it as the world's first encyclical letter. Peter writes to the other elders, other bishops, with instructions for them. And what is it about? about how they are to exercise their leadership, to lead not as dictators, but in a way that will be an example for others to follow. Consultative leadership. Many of us will have some form of authority. It might be as a parent. It might be authority we have in work. It might be in a society we belong to. When we exercise that authority, let's do that always in a way that avoids being dictatorial and will be an example of how a Christian responds when some authority is put into their hands.